12 11 right now today a local food distributor is launching what's known as a pre recovery pod that would support communities on the island if a natural disaster hits. Kiai TV 4's Nicole Tam shares how the pods could be life saving. These ready to eat meals behind me are actually going to go into a large container. There's actually going to be 135,000 meals that can be stored up to 25 years. Here to tell us more is Chad Buck. He is the owner of Hawaii Food Service Alliance. Thank you so much for joining us. Just tell us how important is this to Hawaii's disaster preparedness? Well, we feel this is very important to be prepared for what uh, scientists are saying is going to have more extreme weather coming our way. Um, we first got involved with this back in 2014 when Hurricane Acel hit the Big Island with winds of 137 miles an hour. When we showed up on scene with containers of product that we donated to the communities, what we discovered is that the counties and the state has zero supplies or stockpiles of food for our population in case of a natural disaster. So that started the wheels turning of how we as a private business can get involved. Let's actually turn and look at the menu sure, of some of these sure. items because it looks so good on the picture. Yeah. I just want to share a little bit. Hungry. I right. know. So right. Let's talk a little more about what is offered because we know there's actually different types of food too. Right, so, so, so basically these meals are designed to keep the population fed to, until uh, supply lines are reestablished for their communities. So you've got um, close to 800 to 1,000 calories per meal, depending on which one you're having, but you have chicken noodle soup, uh, southwest rice and beans, savory stroganoff, tomato basil soup with pasta. So you've got the carbs and the energy and the calories that the population is going to need to keep functioning, to keep the rescue going on for whatever they're dealing with with the natural disaster. So getting in front of this is highly important, particularly and even more important now as we see severe weather coming across our state. Chad Buck with Hawaii Food Service Lines. Thank you so much for telling us thank about you, this Nicole. awesome initiative. Hopefully the first of many. Yes, yeah. thank you very much. Nicole. And this is supposed to go out to Waianae by the end of this month or early next month. Reporting in Honolulu, Nicole Tam, KITV4 Island News.